What's up Nitro Gang? Today we have the Thunder Tiger EK4 S2 and we're gonna break it in today. So this made this bad boy, I just finished rebuilding the engine. I put in new bearings, I put in a new piston sleeve and piston ring. Now also shout out to my friend Adam, he has like five EK4s. He um, he was really nice and gave me this really cool, uh, nice Gen 2 cooling head. I'll get the original one that it had, but you can see the short head. This is the original one. And what's so bad about that one is that the helicopters, they always have the cooling fan on the flywheel. So it has like a, like a Terra Crusher. They have, um... They have these little blades on the flywheel that circulate air and there's a shroud that goes over the cooling head and to save weight they use those kinds of cooling heads in combination with the fan to cool but when you when you have it on the car with no fan it doesn't get as much cooling so they had problems where they would overheat and it's just bad overall so thanks to Adam for um, hooking me up with this sweet uh, nice cooling head and he also gave me this body mount as mine was missing one so with, I'm running VP 2020 mix on this thing you have to use helicopter fuel because it's a ringed engine and it just needs more lubrication it, I was able to get it started for like one second yesterday and then I just didn't mess with it I'm not gonna really count that as a start so let's do this and what's also really annoying is that they use hex instead of flathead screwdriver for the needle settings so i mean yeah that's just whatever but um in the manual for breaking they tell you to put the high speed to three turns out and this is not the original one i just printed this from competition x but they say right here in break-in, they tell you to put the high speed needle three turns from fully closed and the carburetor's idle setting to two millimeter opening. So I did all that and then, but they never tell you anything about the mid speed or low speed. So those, for the optimum needle setting, the low speed is at, uh, no, they don't tell you about the low speed, but the mid speed at optimum needle setting is at uh, flush with the carb body but that's for optimum, so I just turned it half a turn out from there just for break-in to get just a little bit more lubrication. And also for the low speed, I just asked on Facebook and a lot of guys just said try flush with the car body and then just one turn out, so that's what I did. So let's get her started. So I'm running my Radiolink RC6GS and running this off of a 2S. 1500 milliamp hour battery pack. As you can see, the servos are really nice. Let me show you the. And brakes are good as well. Let's get her started up. What's up, guys? So, this is just, to, just a little walk around of the car just before I started. So you can see I have it set to my EK4 model. Let's have it focused there. And I have telemetry, so it's at 7.3 volts. So that's good. And you can see these are the stock servos. All, I have my EPAs and my trim set up properly. And the brake works good. The steering is really good too. And so the fuel tank, it's full. I can't fill it up anymore. Brand new air filter, the Tractus one. I always use those in all of my RCs. Uh, I have a fuel filter on there, an exhaust deflector just to not dirty up everything. And that's basically it. So, also, I really want to point out that this car I bought off on eBay for 200 plus shipping, so it was about like 255 total. And the chassis is in really good condition. You can see it's super clean. Get a look under there. So yeah, it looks like there's like hair, I don't know, but like 
that's probably it doesn't really matter like the chassis you can see barely any scratches whatsoever so this is really pristine condition i got really lucky on this one um but the the piston and sleeve and piston ring those cost me a fortune <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna say this isn't cheap but it's gonna be worth it when we start this thing up so without further ado let's get her started okay so i have my drill i'm just gonna prime it and i'm using my light on my lipo glow igniter so i'm gonna prime it first and actually i'm just gonna blow on the fuel tubing because this is a new engine so i don't want to score anything I did put some after an oil in there, but just to be safe, I'm just going to blow through the fuel tubing. I know I look stupid, but don't worry. It's the safe way to go. Okay, so I've observed a lot of fuel going into the carb. Let's just hope it's not over primed because I did put a lot of after an oil before. Sorry, it's a bit, a bit wavy there kind of windy here today okay so I'm gonna just prime it a little bit that sounds good all right it's time for the first start oh yo let's go that was really good guys it started so it looks like the low sp uh, low speed is a bit rich because it was you heard it stalling there, so I'm just going to turn it in a quarter turn. I'm gonna check my glow plug in a second. What's up Nitro Gang? So today I just couldn't, ha I just, just didn't have enough time to fully break this in. I only got to maybe half of the first tank and yeah so I was at JPL and I just only had enough time to do half a tank because I took most of my time to just get it started because it just, just wouldn't hold this tune very well. So I'm just going to finish breaking it in now that I got it 
running correctly in front of my house and we should be good to go so thanks so much for watching this video part two and just like the other 10 tanks or the other nine tanks left will be on my channel soon so stay tuned for that and also i just got myself some a sweet lot of two terror crushers which will be coming soon i already actually rebuilt one of the engines so that'll be really fun and also got this rc10 gt all good and running just wait or got a body but it i thought it was painted but it was clear here so i'm gonna have to figure that out but we're gonna see that and the terror crushers coming soon so stay tuned for that thanks so much for watching and as always i'll see you next time